Yep, back out. Yet again, the uh, the planets have aligned. And tomorrow, I've got to be on that wooler job again. So, moot. This is starting at half seven tomorrow, so I have to be there for about seven o'clock. So I thought I'd just come part way up. So we got uh, 15 minutes away from Wooler. Nice little place. The weather is lovely. Summer's back. It's the summer again. Everything's out. There's butterflies out. I'm saying that. Walk into the gloom. That's because of the trees. Look at the sun. It's about 23 degrees. Yeah, so just making hair while the sun shines, literally. So the one is there early tomorrow, so I've knocked 45 minutes off the time that I need to get up. I have to be about half five if I was going from home. Nick as to that. Saying that, I'll probably get up when I can't lie in. Anyway, we're gonna go and see what we can find. I'm not quite sure where I'm going. Just following my nose again. Don't worry. There's no reviews in this video. <laughs> I'm not all about the reviews. It's the odd one here and there. And only if I like it. Next one up is the sleeping mat. I didn't like that. You'll see that. West Hill and Old Hill and these these ones are unnamed the big one you think the big one that might probably be Old Hill West Hill and then some unnamed ones and I'm going up there it's called Weather Hill and I thought because of the nice weather it would be quite appropriate it's only about a mile from where I've parked so I can get back tomorrow in about half an hour it's literally all downhill all the way. That's the good thing about going uphill. First off, you've got all downhill to come next day, which is a lot easier down here. Especially when you've got to go to work. But look at the sky, it's stunning. Hey, it's lovely here, it's dead peaceful. There's a few sheep, there's a few cows over there, but hopefully they'll stay over there. I can't see there being cows up there. Yeah, if there is, it doesn't matter. They'll stay away. So know what's good for them. Right, can I push on? I mean there you go. It's September and the sunglasses are on. That says it all. There's a lovely breeze. It's actually perfect. The weather condition is perfect. Little breeze, beautiful red hot sunshine. And the temperatures are meant to stay like this as well. I think the lowest it's going to get down is about 15, 16 degrees overnight, which will probably mean condensation. But you know what? I don't mind. I'm going to live with condensation if it's going to be like this all night. Looking forward to this. Hopefully, get a sunset, sunrise, stars. You never know. You never know. You know what's going to happen, don't you? The clouds just going to roll in <laughs> off the coast. Oh, crack on. Don't be negative. Well, after a, a sweaty mile, it's not hard, but that heat drains you. So it feels like it was three miles, but it was only a mile and a bit. This just here, this, this is like the remains of an old, it's another one of those Iron Age, Bronze Age Roman forts that the Saxons built for the uh, Neanderthals. This is where you need a drone so you could get this. You can see from the top. I might get a drone next year. See how I feel, see what the prices are. But look at all these hills, the hazy sunshine. I'm hoping for a sunset. 
Well, I'm going to set up around here somewhere. Let's look for the flattest bit where my poles are was flat. Just maybe there. Uh, the sun is the west. I don't know which way we're facing here, like west eye. So it's east coast. The sun sunrise will come up that way. Look at the uh, fret though coming in off the sea. I may come over here, you know. Oh, I hope not. But there's your sunset anyway. Right, let's get set up. I'm having a beer this time. Hell with it. So there you have it. It's up. It's that again. No go next tonight because uh, I need a quick getaway tomorrow. Right, to see it. To be fair, that Donex doesn't take long to put down, but it's just, just easier to shove this in the bag and I'm off. So let's give you a 360 of me home for the night. I get the tent. Oop. I'll have to have a look for the name of that hill there. That looks like another one you could get to. See the hazy sun. Yeah, there might not be much of a sunset this. There you go. See what I mean about these hills out here though? You'll get 360 views on most of them. Even though they're surrounded by bigger hills. It's weird, isn't it? It's really strange. Right. So that's the that's the east coast over there. I'm so disorientated. I thought east was behind us, but it's not. I'm the other way around. So just remember that. And I'm gonna get my stuff set up there, and then it is it's after six o'clock, which is, in my world, beer o'clock. And yes, I'm having a beer. The hell with it. It's the summer. It's the perfect weather for a beer. You know what? I forgot to bring my chair. My chair would have been perfect here. Damn. Not to worry. I've sort of walked around the uh, perimeter of the fort. It's 0.14 miles round. 0.14 miles, what's that even? It's not even a tenth, well, just over a tenth of a mile. But you know why? They built the forts up here. It's just dawned on us, like with, with these views. I mean, you can see anything that's coming. You can see anything from that side. And they probably had one up there. It does say there's a settlement up there. So they'll have given this lot a warning if there was anything coming over that hill. And this lot could warn if there was anything coming over these hills. It's all well thought out. Them, uh, them Romans knew what they were doing. I'm watching this thing on Netflix at the minute called The Last Kingdom. It's excellent, I got hooked. Thanks to Mr. Stoker for the recommendation for that. I'm now an addict. I'm on season four now, halfway through. It's mint. It's all about the Vikings. They called them Danes in them days. You can call them Vikings, but they were Vikings. And God, they were vicious. But seeing that, the Saxons who fought them, which is basically us, English, they were just as bad, like. Fierce warriors, the English. I mean, they did defeat them eventually, the Danes, but... Gosh, they lost a lot of blood in them days. It must have been horrible. God, could be massive swords. Imagine that, could be swords just come chopping right into you. Bang. Or an axe. It's gruesome, this last kingdom, like, it's proper bloodthirsty. It's worth having a look at, though. It's all about Uhtred, son of Uhtred. And then he gets taken by the Danes, brought up as a Dane. And then he comes back to claim his birthright. And they want to call him Uhtred of Berenbure, which is Bambra. He wants to go and live in Bambra. I mean, who doesn't? It's a good story. That's not spoiling the plot. That's just it's probably the first episode tells you all that. I think the sunset is going to be a, a no show because it's hazy. It may just, uh, I don't know. They don't normally work when it's like that. We'll see. See what I can pick up. But yeah, I'm just chilling out now. Like I say, work tomorrow. All day at Wooler. 
back of the distillery. Ugh. I'm just on this hook back 5.5%. I'm just keeping it light. I've only got two, three, you know, just low percentage. But I thought, you know, with the weather being like this, I can't just stand out here and not have a beer. It would be a sin. Right. That's it then. There's not really much happening. But, you know, we'll see if anything interesting occurs. sunset go down. I think I ballsed up the video of it. I don't know. Let's see how it turns out. I should get some like... So the wind is picked up a little bit. It's a lovely breeze. I'll tell you what it is right. This is an absolute perfect breeze. Just bringing on a little bit of a chill but it's now it's really keeping the flies and midges off. It's absolutely perfect. Perfect conditions. No, oh, who's that? That's my phone dinging. Um, but it's coming this way now. So I've opened the other side. See how versatile this tent is. This is mint, you know, this tent is really good. I know I keep going on about how great tents are and all that. I've thrown about three tents away in the last year because they were a load of rubbish. The ones I'm keeping. Oh, good man. I'm going to use that Gornex again on Friday, I think. Well, I'm trying to get Mr. Chebs out. 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 But yeah, this is what you do. If the wind comes this way, you just change that. I think I'll be, um, I'll just be leaving that. I'll be keeping like that tonight. Keep that, that flap open there. Just keep the condensation down. I will get condensation though, because the temperature is really changing. It was red hot before. Now it's really plunged. Don't need to peg it out, guy it out. I'm just gonna leave them off. There's no need, it's pretty solid. Forecast not windy. That's it. So, unless anything amazing happens, we'll just see in the morning, cause mm, that's it really, that's it. There's not much to report. There's not much to do when you're on your own, is there? finished with me woman because she couldn't help us with me mind people say I'm crazy or insane because I'm talking all the time I've lost it Morning campers, hidey high and out. So, there's a few sheep and a sunrise, lovely sunrise, worth getting up for. All packed away, really. Just, uh, I was here, just here. There's loads of sheep muck about, it's all they do. Eat, shit, sleep, repeat, bleat. Um, so that's it. It's now, it's getting on like 20 to 7. I better get off. I'm all packed away, ready to go. So thanks for viewing, coming along. I think 
that night lapse you should have seen that by now I'm pretty sure there was some aurora action in there I don't know it looked like red and green so I don't know put your thoughts in the comments maybe it was maybe it was just the light but it's an absolutely lovely day it's not the day to be working I could have just went hiking through these hills but no I've got to go and do that job so I'll just leave you with this till the next time